द सफरिंग ऑफ बलोच मार्च इन द बैरिकेड्स ऑफ नेशनल प्रेस क्लब इस्लामाबाद today we provide an update on the ongoing sit in camp at the national press club in islamabad this marks the 48th day of our movement and we are gathered here with over 500 affected families students and numerous supporters from various regions we extend our gratitude to the citizens of islamabad for their unexpected yet invaluable support as we face a counter sit in aimed at undermining the mental well being of the affected families we emphasizes the urgent need for psychological counseling for those in the camp as the affected people of balochistan currently protesting across the region we collectively endure suffering especially the families in this camp the state machinery appears to be manipulating our situation starting with their plans to arrest all participants when our march added towards islamabad they collected our data including fingerprints during our entry into the capital students like zahir baloch a phd scholar at comsets university islamabad and 34 other baloch students faced delays in information dissemination to their families after completing the profiling process this highlights the lawlessness in islamabad where the courts seem complicit in supp- uh, supporting these actions Numerous FIRs including sedition charges have been filed against the Baloch nation in different areas including DG Khan and Tonsa human right members and journalists covering our stories are, are being threatened and beaten facing social media trolls Mansoor Pashtin attempting to support the sit in camp remains detained the military intelligence agencies courts and political parties seem involved in orchestrating these events and sabotaging the baloch jagdhati committee scam depositing the story of a colonial balochistan we have witnessed their action in the mass graves of ghuzdar and the dumping of our loved one bodies displaying a blatant disregard for human lives these have been done through the death squad supporting the overall state machinery we the baloch people are facing these inhuman professional killers known as death squads i am now concerned for the people of islamabad they can do anything to sabotage our march against baloch genocide and even compromise the security of the camp of the citizens of islamabad we know this is very concerning those living in balochistan know how the counter camp of death squad is very concerning supported by the so called mass political party some politi- political parties are trying to build a religious version of this and another party sitting in the counter camp is supporting threatening and operating violent people to harass the families additionally during the time period of this march nearly 40 baloch have been enforcedly disappeared from different regions of balochistan show causing the disturbing conditions of human right violation in balochistan about yesterday two persons identified as mr asan son of mr asif and mr jasum son of mr mohammad baksh according to the sources pakistani forces abducted these two young baloch from dazin tomb on the other hand today early morning two political activists namely mohammad aslam baloch the chairman of union council fazla is son and rasul baksh baloch were abducted from tonsa sharif at 8 am and more than 25 persons have been illegally arrested from tonsa including them is also zulfikar baloch a member of hrcp we are deeply worried about their well being as they were abducted to intimate the protesting demonstration in solidarity with us to be observed in tonsa sharif today Despite facing hardship in the camp including harsh weather conditions limited resources health issues and the absence of proper sanitation facilities we remain peaceful and resilient we urge international journalists researchers and intellectuals to visit islamabad record our stories and shed light on the situation in balochistan we emphasize the importance of understanding our pain and struggle which extend in which extend beyond mere differences despite the order of high court of islamabad we have still not received very basic facilities to survive in the sit in camp this is what this mighty machinery is threatening more than 500 baloch marches in the camp they are exposed to threat 
while the state machinery employs surveillance and harassment our peaceful protest during the baloch march contrast with the violence perpetrated by the death squad and state forces the counter camp operating within without surveillance cameras raises concerns about the safety of its inhabitants we request to reach our organization and emphasize emphasizes of the civilized world watch us we appeal to international human rights representatives ambassadors and journalists to urgently visit both camps assess the disparities in surveillance and address the health and security concerns the families in the baloch jagjati committee camps require immediate attention including psychological counseling and support from international organizations the surrounding internet blackout near the national press club compounds our urgency and we implore the international community to intervene and help address our concerns in the face of threats harassment and ongoing media blackout and an internet shutdown we seek solidarity from the global community to bring to light the realities of balochistan and protect the lives of thousands of affected individuals your immediate attention and support can make a significant difference in our struggle for justice and human rights thank you